everyone. My name is Sonal Gosai and I work at the Pohik Regional Library. I am an information librarian there and today I'm here to talk about three of my favorite authors and this book, these books you can add them to your beach bag. These are great easy romantic summer reads. First of all, I, the very first author and the book that I want to talk about is Every Breath by Nicholas Spark. This story explores the theme of love and relationship and friendship. The, um, the story explores the question of how love, how long can love really last? Um, the story takes place in Sunset Beach, North Carolina, and there are two reason why, reasons why Nicholas Sparks decided to write this book. One reason, first reason is the mailbox named Kindred Spirit that's located in Sunset Beach, North Carolina. And the second reason he decides to write this book is his travel and his travel experiences to Zimbabwe, um, Africa. After he visits Zimbabwe, he falls in love with the people and place. And he decides to create a character named True Walls. And that being said, True Walls is main character in this book. He's 42 year old. He lives in Zimbabwe. He has a, he's divorced and has a 10 year old son who lives in Zimbabwe. True is visiting Sunset Beach, North Carolina to meet his father for the first time. And that's when he meets Hope Anderson. And they meet by chance, they fall in love, and it was love as, it's a love at first sight. Hope is visiting Sunset Beach, North Carolina from Raleigh, North Carolina to attend his, her best friend's wedding and to help her father sell his beach house. And that's how they meet. And as I said earlier, it's love at first sight. They, leave to, they stay together for four days and they decide to go separate ways. Now, there are two reasons why they decide to go separate ways. One, Hope wanted to marry someone and start the family and have children. True could not have children, even though they both love each other and couldn't live without each other. True has to go back to Africa for his son. So they both decide to go separate ways, even though they never forget each other and they love each other. Um, Hope gets, Hope gets married to her boyfriend, who she's dating for six years, and she gets married, she has children. True moves back to Africa and 20 years go by. And in their 60s, they meet again. And it's beautiful, romantic. They share their stories of what they did for 20 years and how much they love each other and how they, how they find each other. They find each other through kindred spirit, the mailbox. That's a suspense that you have to read about. I'm not gonna give it away. So I hope you like the story. This is a very romantic story. It takes my breath away. And the way Nicholas Sparks describes Sunset Beach is amazing. And so this is a very good summer read for your beach bag. Fairfax County Public Library has a lot of copies available. Uh, we have many books by Nicholas Sparks and we also have um, Every Breath available. So I hope you read it, you check it out, you read it, and I hope you like it. Next author I want to talk about is Sunset in St. Tropez by Daniel Still. Now Daniel Still is my second favorite author. She writes heartwarming story. Now this heartwarming story is about three couples, six best friends, uh, Robert and John Fiskel and um, Eric and Diane. And the story takes place in Saint Tropez. Six friends, they visit Saint Tropez on their vacation. Now when they decide to go on this vacation, that was eight months ahead. Now, two weeks later, they make the purchase, they uh, purchase, they rent the huge house on Saint Tropez and they, um, there is a tragedy happening. And one of their friend, Anne, gets a massive heart attack and they lose her. And Robert's wife, Anne, passes away. 
So all four friends are helping Robert deal with this tragedy, uh, tragedy and the book explores how friends, how friendship works, how much they care for each other and the way Daniel still explains the friendship and relationship and marriage and um, it's just amazing. The way she puts the words together, it's amazing. Um, all five friends, they decide to go on this vacation anyway because they think that it's a good idea after they lose their best friend and it's maybe it's a good getaway that they all need. The book take another turn when Robert invites her, his friend, very young film actress, Gwyn Thomas. And the, the story takes another turn when the rest of the couple, when Gwyn finds out that none of the couples like her. And the, the story explores how their struggle their relationship, their friendship, and their care for each other. And the way Daniel still um, explains St. Trope is amazing. Her words, the way that she describes it, there are these three couples, they go on, they have, they go on vacations, they go on uh, boating, they go fishing, and it's a great, great, great summer read for you to add to your beach bag. I hope you check it out, and I hope you enjoy it. Now, the third book I want to talk about is Surfside Sisters by Nancy Tyre. This is a very engaging tale about friendship, romance, forgiveness, and self-discovery. Now, this book is about two best friends, Kelly Green and Isabel Maxwell. Now, Kelly and Isabel, they met each other in preschool, and their friendship goes all the way to the adulthood. This book, the way the way Nancy Tyre's, uh, Tyre talks about is it starts when, uh, when two friends meet in preschool and then it goes all the way to their adulthood and their, their love for each other, their friendship, they sacrifice. And the, the one of the character, Kelly Green, now these two friends are best friends, but they're totally different. Kelly is a poor girl in the story and Isabel is a rich girl whose father, whose father is lawyer and they have a lot of money and they take family vacation around the world. Now Kelly grows, grows up in a poor family and she works throughout the high school and throughout the college and supports her parents and herself put her, puts her through college. And, um, but yet they're best friends. They're very different, but they're best friends. So the story is about their friendship and growing up they were inseparable. But in their adulthood, the, their career and their love for this guy, Tommy, comes in a way. So the story is really about lost and found. They lose each other, they, they're best friends, they lose each other, and then they find each other. And so this is a great tale, and this is a good summer read. And the story takes place in Nantucket, Massachusetts. And Nancy Tyre, the way she describes this island is amazing. And this is another great, easy summer beach read. I hope you like, I hope you check it out and I hope you enjoy it. And um, Fairfax County Public Library has many books av available by these authors in print and in digital form. So please check them out and read them. Thank you so much.